you have uh, before you a very hefty report, uh, and it represents only a small part of the work that was done over the last nine months. Uh, the total accumulated notes of evidence, the various appendices and addenda, together with the report, make up nearly 3,000 pages, 2,997. Uh, this represents the uh, extent of concern from our representors, the extent of the robustness of the engagements that we have had, and the material that we've had to grapple with. But uh, just as we've had engagement from Singapore, this matter has also been engaged with by um, other countries and other bodies similar to ours. Uh, many jurisdictions have now started or have conducted inquiries at a very high level to look into this phenomena and have a similar level of concern. Uh, different governments are taking steps to protect their people and their country. They see and appreciate the need for swift action, and Singapore too is doing our best to act early. And we have to ensure that we have the ability to deal with this issue. In the public consciousness, the 2016 uh, elections in the United States of America uh, really highlighted what this issue could um, result in and what are the potential concerns both for governments as well as the people. But the reality is that this is uh, on the basis of a foundation of activity that has been going on for some years. Uh, malicious actors had been testing the limits of what they could do using the tools provided to them by online platforms, by the social media. They essentially have been looking for different ways to weaponize falsehoods on the internet. This phenomena has grown in strength and has resulted in consequences in various parts of the world, not just uh, in the United States and not just in the 2016 uh, general elections there. Uh, examples include anti-immigrant demonstrations in Germany, mob violence in India, radicalizations, uh, radicalization in the United Kingdom, and attempts to influence elections in a number of worlds, a number of countries, I beg your pardon, the United States, Spain, France, Germany, Mexico, Indonesia, and more recently in Sweden. So now, as a result of all of this, the number of actors that are trying to weaponize this space, that are trying to exploit this space, has also grown, learning from some uh, examples of success. In parallel, the academic research on this matter has built up. The number of people looking at this information, at uh, this issue, trying to study what information is available and trying to think of the potential concerns. And the committee has had the benefit of some of this research, uh, some of our representatives, as well as material that has been submitted to us. Uh, we have sought to capture all the key aspects of these phenomena in the report. Turning our attention to home, we are also quite clear that the, from the evidence that this is a live and serious threat for Singapore that threatens our national security. All the members of the committee, on the basis of the evidence and the representations put before us, are convinced that this is a live and serious threat for Singapore that threatens our national security. The world and Singapore has been taught many things by what has happened over the last few years. One is that the, these sorts of problems can creep up on us, unnoticed until it is too late and already causing serious consequences. The, the other, one other thing that we have learned is that this process infiltrates our local communities. People gather influence and test messages so that by the time they are ready to act and need to act decisively, they have sharpened and honed their tools. They are able to translate online falsehoods and the manipulation of misinformation into real-world consequences, rallies and protests pitting people against each other. The initial falsehoods may seem ridiculous, trivial, small in the larger scheme of things, but they have been cleverly played upon, uh, used to ex exaggerate and exacerbate local grievances and to man manipulate the sentiment of people. Everyday issues can be turned to larger purposes. So we Take the, take the position that it's easy to underestimate the problem, and we hope not to make the same mistakes that we have seen elsewhere. The committee has made a suite of measures, uh, uh, 22 recommendations. This, the committee has made 22 recommendations, which represent a wide suite of measures, from public education, the training of journalists, the issue of fact-checking, how this might influence social cohesion, and so forth. We've set out clear principles to guide Singapore's response, and we've recommended clear and robust measures to be taken by various stakeholders, including government. And these include a recommended legislative response. 
Uh, we'll open up for questions in a minute, but one question that I'm imagining some of you will have is that why such strong measures are needed? Why do we need such a, a, a strong response? We believe that uh, on the basis of the information prov provided to us that the nature of falsehoods and especially deliberate online falsehoods, their very nature means that they have an upper hand over the facts. They are more easily believed, they travel further, they travel faster, and they are much harder to dislodge. We need uh, uh, measures that have the same degree of strength to counter the asymmetry that exists between the falsehood and the truth that is out there. We've studied what other countries are doing, the United Kingdom, France, and others, and many countries are trying to address this with different ideas and different tools. The specifics vary, but in principle, all of us agree that our legislative response, the law today, needs to be updated and needs to be fit for purpose in the digital age. And just before I finish, I would like to thank very much on behalf of our committee, our indebtedness and our gratitude to the con contributors, the representors who gave up their time, their effort, and their expertise. The, the report that we have, the recommendations that we are able to come together around, and eventually the interventions that we propose are the result of their engagement and their interest in the uh, future su success of our uh, ability to, to deal with this space. I would also like to record my thanks to the many members of staff, uh, especially Parliament Secretariat, who helped us uh, with this effort uh, and put together the 2,997 pages. Thank you very much, and I look forward to your questions.